Hi, this is Gina, and I'm here to bring you lesson four on using your ANMA. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, draining the lymph in this area and working on firming the neck, as well as addressing the jowls and some puffiness in the jawline. Before we do that, I have a bonus for you, just like I did last week. This bonus has to do with the mouth area, um, and this doesn't use the ANMA. Again, it uses your fingers, your hands. So after you have completed, you've been now doing your mouth area, jaw area for a week, you're now ready to get in a little bit deeper and find some of those uh, things that contribute to the lines around your mouth and to those nasal labial folds that kind of pull down through here. So there's some muscles in here that want to pull down through there. I'm a really good frowner. I even sleep frowning. My husband's taking pictures of me frowning in my sleep. Huh. So he thinks it's cute. So what I'm going to do, this isn't really glamorous to look at. It's even hard to talk while I'm doing it, but I'm going to put one finger inside my mouth, the other finger on the outside. I'm going to roll the skin around inside there. I'm going to find where that little knot of muscle is, and I'm going to work on breaking that up. So this is what that looks like. So I get in there, I find that little ridge of muscle and I'm just working back and forth. I'm rubbing my thumb on it, rolling it around. Again, I'm starting with really light pressure and then I'm gen gradually adding more pressure as that muscle begins to release in there. So I'm gonna do that, I recommend doing that on both sides of the face. And then I get in and I actually work the lips. So we learned this in massage school. A lot of massage therapists who've had advanced massage training learn how to do this. But I've been doing it for years for myself and you can do it at home for yourself as well. I'm gonna come inside. And again, I'm just kind of stretching and lifting out. So I feel this nice little stretch in my gums as I'm working all the way around and I'm just doing some light little friction moves. Getting under there. This is really glamorous. Right there is a good spot. Just really getting in and stretching the gums, getting along my lip line, softening that area up. You can do the same thing on the bottom. Just getting in there stretching and going to the other side. I do this a lot of times at night, right after I brush my teeth. I'll get in there or sometimes laying in bed at night. I'll get in there and do that. If you do that every day, you see a significant uh, decrease in the tension lines around your mouth. All of that will begin to soften up much more. So that's kind of the extra little piece about working around the mouth. And now the other thing we're going to talk about is the lower release. So let's get into it. So what happens is we have lymph and we need to have lymphatic drainage. If we don't have enough drainage, we get some puffiness going. That's where you can start to see this double chin starting to form, or you can start to see some jowl starting to form. It's because we need to drain the lymph out of there. So the lymphatic drainage begins really before, you can even do this before you do all of your other things to help with all that lymphatic drainage. But it's important to do this once a day, whenever time that you do it. I'm right on my sternum and I'm just massaging back and forth. It's like there's a one of the fingers in between each of my ribs growing across the top here. You can actually turn your anma over and you can use the handle and you can get right underneath your collarbones and you can do some drainage there. You can use a little more pressure in this area just because it feels good. And then do the other side. So we're basically we want to break up what's happening in here and we want to bring it on out to our armpits. So that's what we do in that area. Now the next part, this is probably my favorite thing to do with my alma, and it might on some people be very painful, 
So you want to work into it very slowly. Um, as you do it, you'll get healthier and healthier. The first few times you do it, you may find that your skin gets bright red and blotchy through here. That's totally normal, but it just means you're holding a lot of tension in there. And there's a lot of fascia with adhesions in there. And we're just going to need to break that down. You can take it as far back, the back of your neck as you want. It's right up in here on each side of your neck and then come over and do the other side, up and down. It feels amazing. Now, if you don't have a shirt on, it's helpful because then you can get right down onto these areas here. You have acupressure points right on the top of your shoulders. You can use your little thumb to get in there. Oh, yeah. Find that release point to release the shoulder muscles. Feels really good. Do that on both sides. Really, it's the anma is a lot about playing. Get in there and play with your body. See what feels good on there. See where the tender points are. See what areas um, your body likes to have the anma working on it. Now we're working the sides of the neck. We can come right in here and work the jawline, just setting it right in between there both sides and of course on your jaw I've already have some of the hyaluronic shea mask on so I'm getting some nice glide it's important to have something on for glide in this area so some of that hyaluronic shea mask is perfect another secret about that hyaluronic shea mask if you're not acne prone you can leave that mask on all night I have a number of customers that use that as their night cream or even as their hand cream it's really a popular product so I'm just going to spend two or three minutes doing either side of my neck. Then I'm going to come back one more time and just release all of that lymph through this area. Now I can dig in pretty deep right here, but there you'll find there's a number of you out there that this is very tender. If it's really tender, it means you need to do this. It's actually really good for you and just use light pressure. Don't bruise yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. None of this should have heavy pressure. It just should be pressure that feels good. It doesn't need to be painful to be effective with these treatments. So that's it, folks. That's all of our lessons for the Anma. I hope you've enjoyed them. The next step after you've been using your Anma for a while is to get yourself a microcurrent machine to use at home. And so we'll begin a session pretty soon and I'll begin to show you how to do the microcurrent movements for lifting and firming your face as well. I hope you have a wonderful day.